Governor Palin gets five Mavericks for this breaking news scandal. Five beat up old Ford Mavericks, that is. We begin tonight with breaking news. New questions about Sarah Palin's travel expenses. Hello. The Associated Press reporting tonight that as governor, Palin charged the state of Alaska for her children to travel with her. Some of those trips were to events where they were not invited. The AP also says that Palin later amended her expense reports to specify that, there were, that they were traveling with her on official business. Now, this story is still developing. It's just breaking. It's not clear what, if any, impact it may have. The McCain campaign has been quick to put out a response, and we'll tell you that in a moment. Right now, CNN's Ed Henry joins me on the phone with the breaking news. Ed? Well, Anderson, as you noted, Sarah Palin talks a lot about reform and saving taxpayers' money as governor, but there are new questions tonight about her conduct in that office after the AP reviewed these travel records. They show that the governor charged state taxpayers over $21,000 for her children to take various commercial flights to attend official events with their mom. In one case, they joined the governor to watch their father in a snowmobile race. Another time, they went to New York, uh, in which the governor was at a conference for about five hours in New York. But um, her daughter, uh, Bristol, uh, stayed at a New York City hotel for five days and four nights on the state taxpayer's dime while her mom was at that conference. It's very important to stress, however, to put this in context, that Alaska law does not specifically address travel for children of, of any governor. Uh, according to this AP report, though, and according to a number of people at some of these events, there was no official role for her kids in some of these events. Is that correct? Exactly. Well, Anderson, uh, these, these reports are, uh, and, and these uh, activities are obviously uh, eye-opening. Uh, but as I recall, most of this was reported early on uh, when she was first named. There was a big story, as you'll recall, about her charging per diem for the nights that she spent in her home in Wasilla. And buried within that story, toward the end of the story, were these accounts about taking children on, uh, on, on state trips and then charging the, the, the state for them. And as I recall, I, I don't remember whether she uh, whether it was reported that she amended anything, but I do specifically remember the trip to New York and of that sort. And what the story also went on to say, her defense was, well, look, you know, the last governor actually charged one heck of a lot more, and I cut it down. Look, here's what you have here, okay? You have somebody who talks about being a maverick, somebody who talks about corruption in Washington, D.C., in terms of how we manage our resources. You could talk all day about what the previous governor charged and how you charge less. The problem comes in is when you say you use taxpayer dollars to take your children to events when your children were not requested. But I think the key phrase in this whole AP story is amending or changing to reflect uh, what she wanted. That's the critical statement. That's where the questions will all be posed. Why did you change it then? If you thought it was all about your children, why wasn't it, why wasn't it done right the first time? Why don't you go back and change it? That's the critical phrasing. 